I'm recording. Me too. Me three. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> so random <pizza> here. <laughs> Me three. Me three. Oh my god. Me four. Get get back down. <laughs> 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 it's funny it's horrible but funny but true most most funny things are horrible or most horrible yeah. things are funny let's go <sighs> welcome back to the glazer gamble podcast and uh this is an episode where next week we're going to be talking about deadpool this week we're going to be talking about deadpool we might if we have time talk about agatha as well as captain america um what is it it's a uh, Brave New World now, right? Brave New World. And Agatha and all along. Both Agatha have dealt along. with uh, name changes. But, right. Uh, you know what hasn't dealt with name change? Deadpool 3, Deadpool and Wolverine. Right. Um, As you just named two titles. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the final trailer came out, which revealed a, a newer light. It's not. It was a lot less lighthearted than the previous trailers. Right. But it was a much better needed change of pace in terms like for most people because they released yeah, so, they teased it so long ago a lot of people were dealing with that rebound of it feels like the movie's already come out do we really care about it sure and now this final trailer kind of like revamps and makes it go oh maybe this movie won't be just lighthearted and nonsense the right whole time. funny yeah funny and like no real like grip or no real like gripping like possible loss and stuff like that so. right Absolutely, including maybe the death of Deadpool. Right. Um, we got to see a few things in it, a few um, cameos revealed. So if you aren't interested, if you want to be left in the dark, probably don't want to watch this video. Um, but we got to see a few few things. I saw a couple of funny expectations yeah, from people. Yeah, there's a couple cameos that we have seen in like single shots, but you get a little... If you don't sit there and go frame by frame, you wouldn't necessarily see them. Um, like Toad and like Eliath, possibly. Like you see those in some of the other. You see Eliath like trailers. four times. Yeah, yeah, Eliath is a bad one. But uh, Toad, you see in like one frame of a different shot of something else. So. Sabretooth, you saw for a moment again in this Saber one. Sabretooth, you saw right, and so they got a couple. Um, and then a reference to spider-man there at the end at the very end yeah, yeah. and then uh and then you got a, a big one i guess which is probably everyone's like stop ruining the movie and it's like well this is probably like the tip of the iceberg in well, actuality like people say stop ruining the movie but honestly have they watched movie trailers before right. my biggest pet peeve with movie trailers is the fact that they often give away if it's a comedy movie they the funniest joke is in the trailer if right. it's an action movie a short clip of the best action scene sure, is in the movie. Like, and, and if it's Madam so Web, weird. and if it's Madam Web, it's really the only like basically the entire movie is in the like the trailer. Like, basically. I know this is completely different realm. Still Disney, but sure. um, one of my favorite trailers of all time was a teaser trailer, and it was the very first one of disney's frozen it was like a year before frozen was even supposed to come out like over a year sure. before and it was just sven the reindeer playing with um a carrot on the ice and like slipping and falling sure. absolutely nothing to do with the movie at you didn't see elsa you didn't see you saw nothing but Sven the reindeer and a carrot on ice right and it was still cute and something like i'm probably gonna go see that because i like it like I don't think right. trailers necessarily have to give you as much as they give us now, especially when the people release three or four movies. So I get it. I, those people that say you're ruining the movie, be honest with yourself. You're still going to go see it. So right. what do you care? Right. Don't If you and, really are that big of a deal, don't watch the movie or trailers. Right. That, or, yeah, exactly. And I think I think with this movie, everyone's like, oh, you're, you're spoiling this and you're spoiling this and you're spoiling this. It's like, well, you do have to show some things. Um, and I think this also, like, adds to that loss, too, because, uh, like, that possible loss, because you did see X-23 and Logan go through this emotional journey of, of meeting someone that is basically her dad, like, the who she's cloned from, and, and like, the DNA used to make her was him, um, and then, like, the loss she, she experienced, and now she's face-to-face -face with 
a different version of like her dad essentially so i mean it well it, so it with, kind of comes full circle too with x23 it's clearly like our universe is x23 talking to this fox whatever this universe this new well one. okay so so in the trailer um they make they run uh Ryan Reynolds. deadpool makes it sound like that like that wolverine was a leader was big part of this world like right that logan our our wolverine that we've seen all the movies for was the one from his universe from yeah. ryan reynolds deadpool yeah or or something similar to that like i i think the fo- I well they use the clips the from fo- the other movies so it, it's right. it's the one we know sure it has sure. to be they wouldn't they wouldn't make use those clips. so yeah but the but the fox universe is so messed up that like you can't necessarily like and like daredevil for instance is is canon but like you know it's not really that that like right so it is it is technically that one because they showed the clips of logan they showed whatever and with x23 talking to this logan this other one this new wolverine it's ours so she's like talking to him about like you were a hero in my world so we know it's not like this wolverine doesn't have his own x23 right right but or, like yet, because I mean Logan happens much later in Wolverine's life too. Right. So, but um, the exciting thing about X twenty three is what you and I texted about, right. which is, are we going to be moving forward with X twenty three as our universes or our future Wolf- MCU Wolverine. Wolverine? Right, and this this comes down to a lot of people at uh, a lot of people on the internet when. Um, the conversations about Sam Wilson being Captain America, Miles Morales being Spider-Man, or even X-23 being Wolverine. It's like all these, all of them are those characters. You're just not accepting them because of one one reason. You know who I didn't hear a peep reason. about? Kate who? Bishop being Hawkeye. Yeah, exactly. And, and what's the common denominator is it's, well... I mean, not really. That's weird. That's that is odd because it. Yeah. It's, it's it, almost like Haley Steinfeld's just too great, and they had to be right. like, I, you know what? I like I like Haley, and it was right after Jeremy Renner had like they were trying to. There was the public was trying to cancel him before his accident, right? right. And so I think a lot of people wanted Jeremy Renner gone, which w- was just kind of ridiculous, but also people love Haley Steinfeld. Like young people love her, older people, older generation love her. Like. Josh That's Allen complete. loves her. Right. Who? Josh Allen. Josh Allen, the quarterback? Yeah. Are For they dating? dating? Yeah. That oh. bastard, right? Bastard. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, uh, I think a lot of people just like her, which is weird because a lot of people should like the other people that Daphne, have taken. Daphne Keen. Right. Or, you know, um, God, why am I blanking on his name? The dude who's going to pop a dog. Yeah. Anthony, Anthony Mackey. Mackey. God, for some reason I wanted to call him Sam Mackey. Um, <laughs> Sam Wilson. Sam, yeah, it's probably yeah. So um, Anthony Mackey is also awesome. Like, right. so I don't th- obviously the people that don't like Anthony Mackey. I think there's a very obvious reason why they don't, and it's the fact that right. he's a black man being Captain America, right. which is nothing wrong with that. Right. Yeah. And there's Miles Morales. That same argument. Miles. Mor- yeah. yeah. There's Miles Morales might not be Peter Parker, but he's still Spider-Man and represents yeah. everything Spider-Man's supposed to represent. So you shouldn't be upset about it. It's ridiculous. Right. Right. And X 23 being moving forward as the, you know, basically our version of Wolverine, maybe not goes by Wolverine goes by X 23, or even if sure. she does go by Wolverine, she, kind of stole the show and she has done well in multiple projects and people really like her right so i think it's a win on multiple fronts yeah if she is I moving think, forward i hope i hope that she is our world's wolverine and i know a lot of people are like well i want to see who is it taron edgerton i think you're going to get a little taste of that throughout deadpool and wolverine like the yeah. rumors of say daniel radcliffe or- zach efron Zach Efron, Taron Edgerton, Henry Cavill, um, stuff like that. You're going to get a taste of all these other, other um, versions of Wolverine, right? Um, and I think I think that they're none of them are going to. They're all going to be cool, but it's not going to be Hugh Jackman. And so I think 
because X-23 is technically canon in a universe, I think that if she moved forward as our Wolverine, then you don't have the responsibility, not necessarily responsibility, that's a bad word, but you don't have to make the decision. Marvel doesn't have to make the decision to cast a new Wolverine. And I think a lot of people don't think about that business wise, like from a business standpoint, if you hire, say a Taron Edgerton, obviously that's who I would want. Um, You hire somebody like that as the new Wolverine, people are constantly going to be comparing while there will be comparing when you do X-23, it feels like a whole new character, even though it's the same character. Exactly. And you can, you know, merchandise can be different. Story-wise can be different. When you cast somebody like Taron Edgerton as just like a recasting of Wolverine, it's going to feel too similar to the old one in terms of story, merchandise, everything. It's too... Right. It doesn't really... I don't think it makes enough sense from a money standpoint, even if it does make sense in terms of creator standpoint. Right. And you're going to... You're still going to get Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Like, you're going to get Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in this movie. You're going to... We have Secret Wars coming up, which he should be back for that. Everyone's supposed to. So, like, you're going to get... Right. Everyone's supposed to. So, you have the longest tenured Marvel character in, in Hugh Jackman's Wolverine now. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's it's a no brainer. I mean, Daphne Keen, say what you want about the acolyte, but which you know people haven't received well. But Daphne Keen has a good relationship with Mar- with Disney because she was in the acolyte, which is weird. Um, I'm pretty sure acolyte's like a ninety some percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, from for from fans. the critics. No, for fans. Oh really? Yep. Oh really? Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. People, people, I haven't. It's also I haven't the seen it, but, um, most Daphne watched Keen or did. second most watched. Uh, Star Wars spinoff. Sure. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, Daphne Keene has that relationship already. And um, I think I think this movie could, like, cement her as, like, this version. And like, the character has plenty of story to work with. Right. I mean, she's, like, what? Tw- like, her character is, like, 20, probably. Like, right. in her 20s. If or, that, yeah. yeah. Right. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a no-brainer because then you don't have to recast Hugh, like, and what he did for that role. And like, so that's that's what I believe would be the best thing. And I think Daphne Keen's badass, and you don't have to. Then you don't have the whole got Jean Grey love triangle. Right. Nobody really cares about that anymore. Right. So. Yeah, I think it'd be. I think it's going to be from a story standpoint, from an actor standpoint. I think I think Daphne Keen would be an awesome Wolverine moving forward. So, if that's what this trailer is trying to show us, not mad about it. Right. For the people that are upset about like you're ruining the movie, what if you think on the positive side? I know it's hard because it's the internet. What if we think on the positive side, like maybe with the amount that they're revealing, think of how much they haven't revealed. Right. Right. So, like you mentioned, you get a taste of the other Wolverines. Because in this trailer, they meant they showed Lady Deadpool. I saw one right. very funny thing, There's which a was bunch I hope it's just Deadpool's Ryan Reynolds. B- behind her, too. There's a bunch of, like, Deadpools in the portal behind her. Like, there's... there's I know that they um, they shoot, showed Dog a cowboy. Pool. Dog pool is there. That's the one we've seen. They've, uh, they showed a... For a brief image, they showed a... Um, like, a boot with a stoke on it, or... Uh, I forget what they're called, but um, like it, so spur. that's like a, a spur, yeah. And so, and then in that portal behind her, you see a cowboy hat. So there's probably like a cowboy Deadpool. Looks like there's just a head, so it's probably like Headpool. <laughs> like there's, it's, it's. So I think like we're gonna see a whole bunch of Deadpool's, which is cool, right? With a bunch of different actors, bunch of different people. Probably none of them moving forward, but who knows, right? Um. Body wise, hair. St- I know the rumor has been that it's Anya Taylor Joy. Um, I've seen a couple other rumors. I don't think it is her, but I don't think it is either. Um, I mean, I think the number one guess would be Blake Lively. Um, which, right, which would be funny. Which would be funny, right? It would, which would also be funny. Hopefully, not distract. She can do it too. Yeah, right. absolutely. She can do it too. So. But thinking, hopefully, the fact that they're like husband and wife doesn't distract people. Right. But I would be all for Blake, Blake Lively because yeah, she, yeah. Would, she would probably do such a good job on it. Right. right. Um, but with the fact that there's a whole bunch of different Deadpools, there's probably a good chance we may see a bunch of different Wolverines. Yeah. 
Or, no, you know, a bunch of different, like, we saw Sabretooth, we saw Toad, we saw Pyro. Right. Like, are we just going to get a bunch of those? Like, are we going to get Iceman and, like, all these other people? Are we going to get Rogue? Are we going to get Jean Grey? Yeah. Or they name like, drop Scott and Storm and Beast in this. Right. So are we going to get so. them? We've already seen Kelsey Grammer be- recently in right. the Marvels. Right. Are we going to get that? Or yeah. Maybe are we I've, going to get... Yeah, like, um, yeah. What's not photon? What's her um... binary? Yeah, are we gonna get maybe binary showing up with beast? Yeah, yeah, that I, would be a fun is, way to tie yeah. it. Yeah, are they gonna go to that world where Monica I Rambeau mean, shows up? Yeah, exactly. You have no idea what what's if gonna happen, like... and like, how cool would that be to see? Even if it's for a split second, like you see Daniel Radcliffe's Wolverine who ends up getting killed fairly quickly. I mean, it's, it's, right. Like, it's yeah, still it's, fun yeah. to see that and you haven't been teased any of that. We, and just because we've seen some of these characters being teased, we also have no idea where the story is going with them or right. how much they impact the story. Right. Like Toad was clearly in an action chase scene there. Right. And yeah. With Elias, Elias seems to be the henchman weapon that the main villain is going to be using. Yeah. Cassandra Nova has like, cause yeah, Deadpool's like, it's like shit. It's coming, and he turns around like. Yeah, and it be so. the fact that it was well, in this final trailer was Eliath was shown like three or four times in right. one and trailer. You see, you see Cassandra Nova like torturing Wolverine more, right? And then you see these like you see these like flashbacks. So I wonder if Cassandra Nova is putting Wolverine through these flashbacks again. Could be. Um, so that's that's kind of how I how I see it, and now Deadpool's like I don't know what to do like are you broken out yet or what's going on like so so. i ate dinner not too long ago sure um a piece of pepper or peppercorn just got me right on the tongue yeah yeah it's a little little spicy a little (laughs) a little uh distracted me for a second it's it's hot Uh, it's just black pepper but for some reason it's spicy as hell like sure eh. just wanted to throw that out there you know breaking the action um (laughs) Other than, I can't see you, so it's it's, <laughs> it's one of those where I'm like taking your word for it. But other than um, you know, Lady Deadpool, Dogpool, all these other Deadpools, um, it seems as though the story is still overall hidden. Right. Like we still don't necessarily we know besides Deadpool just trying to make sure he saves his world and the ones he loves. Right. We don't really know what the main story is. So we still, like, they haven't ruined the movie. If anything, they haven't even given anything away. Right. Yeah. The very base on what we know is um, the TVA is taking Deadpool because his world is in danger. Deadpool doesn't know how to save his world. So he goes and he seeks the help of this Wolverine. Just so happens to pick a Wolverine from a universe where he let down everybody, <laughs> and and that's it. And then Cassandra Nova's there doing and something. We haven't really seen anything of the TVA in the trailer, so it's... yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's they have two probably two and a half ish hours is probably going to be the movie runtime, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's like just over two hours. It's like two hours and two minutes or something like that. Right. So they have two hours to feed in that story. Like, it's like trust the fact that these people have made two insanely good movies, billion dollar movies, I should say. Yeah. The so this movie is tracking right now in terms of pre sales and early streaming numbers. Uh, They expect about two hundred million dollars for the opening weekend. I I think it could break that because like there's two things i saw it already is tracking to be doctor strange and black panther's weekend uh black panther 2 doctor strange multiverse of madness black panther 2's opening weekend it has broken the record for most pre-sale tickets for an r-rated movie um and kevin feige just said if infinity war is a nine and endgame is a 10 then deadpool and wolverine would be an eight in, in in like importance so 200 million dollars would that would be black panther sure so i uh, yeah i mean i think it's gonna be do buco buck numbers yeah, like, well, it's it's, i be... think they i think they estimate around 200 because of the lack of interest in movies recently sure like um like some some movie because like, in for reference twisters Twisters that's just coming out was um, projected to make 30 to 40 million in its opening weekend. 
sure. but it's on track to um, hit around 75 to 80. Sure. So just because Deadpool is projected to do 200, it might end up being on track to break it. It might be a yeah. little bit less. Right. But like one of the biggest, most successful movies so far this year only made 70 to 100 million right. in its opening weekend. So 200 would still be the biggest movie by far yeah. this year. Yeah, it's going to be. I think it's going to be insane. I think with the lack of um, movie moviegoers right now, I don't think this one's going to break the billion this time around. Sure. Um, even if it is better than the first two. But um, I think I think it. It's, it's weird because like there's certain movies where like, oh, the movie experience is dead. Like this movie experience sucks. But then like Barbie breaks a billion. And then like Oppenheimer breaks like seven hundred million, so it's like it's just random, random, not randomness, but like they they definitely, um, they definitely like not displayed, but like they they promoted those movies very well. Yeah. I think Deadpool. I have my is- own personal explanation that I came to. I I was like thinking about movies and the business of movies recently, and I thought about Barbie. And I thought about like, cause right now people are trying to force like gladiator and one and wicked are coming out in the same weekend. Right. And they're trying to force, you know, the, with, like mashup things, yeah. the mashup again, which right. Barbenheimer happened naturally. I think it's so a lot of businesses like radio business, movie, music business, like anything, but especially radio and um, streaming, want you to be viral and they'll even tell their main talent and their creators like you need to create something viral but you can't that's the thing about being viral is you can't create it it kind of happens similar like i don't know if barbie was necessarily a good enough movie to break a billion but it went viral and the marketing went viral and so there are movies that are better that are not succeeding, but I think movies where they're viewing themselves as like movies are dying, theaters are dying. I think what they haven't realized is movies have now joined the online space of it's only going to be successful if it's viral. Sure. And that's kind of what I came to the conclusion of is like, it, if it doesn't go viral, people say, oh, it wasn't marketed enough or it was marketed poorly when it's like, sure. no, they marketed the hell. They spent $200 million on marketing. You just never saw it because it never went viral and you doom scrolled right, right past it 65 times in the past three days. Right. Yeah, I think I think this one, I think Deadpool just has all the the happenings to to make it just an insane number. So I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm... I'm shocked by that 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 first number that comes out over the opening weekend because me too. I I've been telling everyone at work I was like Disney could just have a four billion dollar year in like three movies. Yeah. So, um, you know, you got you got obviously Inside Out two did very well. Um, you have Deadpool and Wolverine, and then you got Moana two later this year. So like, I don't I think, think Moana two is gonna do super well, but I do think. Yeah. I do think Inside Out and Deadpool. Right. Um, I, I, think, I think Deadpool could break that 200 million, but it's all going to be based on the post-marketing after that first weekend. Right. Like the, the advertising's think, yeah. done well. Um, it broke records in pre-sales. It's broken records in pre-screen viewings. Right. Um, however, they are still keeping it under wrap. Like um, the the pros that you know they have to like legally show screenings to certain people right they still haven't shown screenings to every group of people yeah they probably they probably haven't showed variety yet you know what i mean right yeah (laughs) like um there's a there's a dude that comes onto the radio that uh i listen to weekly uh for those of you watching this you probably would have no idea so i don't need to say it but um there's a guy i listen to that comes on talks movies weekly and he said today, a week away from the movie coming out, less than that, and he has yet to see it. And he is yeah. one of the people that is required in the media to sure. be able to see the pre-screening. Right. And he has yet to be shown that. Right. 
So I don't know when they're legally required to, but they are holding it up, which means, yes, they've shown a ton in these to this trailer, but they are hiding There's some so big many secrets. Stuff. Yeah, hell yeah. And That's what you like to see. So those, yeah, all those people that are like, they're ruining it. Why can't we have just wait it? It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a feel good that we're like, we're seeing, we're seeing the main team. We're seeing Wolverine. Pyro was awesome to see. Some of these other characters, all right, they're probably very minor, but then like, like Daphne Keene as X-23 is back. Like that's insane. I think Spider-Man, with the, with the, with the end of that trailer, and him going, pss, 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 yeah. pss. I think that was, I think Spider-Man is going to be in this movie. I don't know if it's going to be Toby, Andrew, Tom. I think it, sure. I think out of, based on the other people that they've had in, I think it'd be Toby. Right. Um, but I think it'll be so quick. Like it will be a one minute scene tops. Right. Because that scene, that at the end trailer makes it seem like they saw Toby they saw him spray his web. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And that was Deadpool. Like, couldn't get it out of his head that it was, like, growing out of his own arm. Right. And he was, like, pre- pre- like pretending he was doing it in the car after their sure. quick interaction with Spider-Man. Yeah, right. That's what it felt like. Sure. Who knows? Right. Who knows? But I don't remember the last time I was this excited for a movie before it came out. I know, yeah. Because we are also in the group of people that have loved the last multiple Marvel products. Like, yeah, we enjoyed the Marvels very much. Um, I loved Echo. Um, Right. Yeah, I mean, we we find our flaws with these things. Like, we're not, we're not, we're not wrong to point out flaws, but we always take the 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 what we liked about it, and we you know promote that. So. Everybody else, the 90% of the internet tears it apart to tell us negative. So everybody watching and listening knows the negatives of the stuff we're talking about. Right. So we don't have to talk about those negatives constantly. We can bring them up. Like when we did our Madam Web review, we definitely talked about the negatives. Right. Which, and we talked about the first, you know, five, 10 minutes. Being the only positive. Positive. Right, right, right. But we did talk about the positive. We did talk about Echo's negatives and positives. We've talked we, every movie review, show review, episode breakdown, whatever it's been. We just did the boys. We talk about the negatives, but we focus on the positives because that's much more, much more our right. speed. Right. And there's enough. There's enough YouTubers and stuff out there that just make the most clickbaity title about how this is dead or this is horrible or it's it's. And they people love it. to it's going jump on and hate or something like that. Right. People love hate. I mean, look at look at sports media. It's one of the most popular forms of media watched still to this day. Sure. And m- almost all of it is negative. Like. Right. But we're starting to see some of the neg- like ultra negative guys leaving. Um. Hopefully for good. But. <laughs> um. They'll still have their their avenues. They'll still have their own podcasts or their own right. like one hour segments here and there. But some of the like more fun up and coming shows or the more popular shows or the most popular shows tend to be like really positive. I think right. I think Stephen A. Whatever is extremely negative and almost always their segments feel negative. Right. But then you go to like Good Morning Football was felt very positive a lot of the time and they jumped to success very quickly once they started. Right. I think positivity should like has its place. And I think more people should enjoy it. And that's why when we do do our Deadpool review after watching the movie, people should be ready for us to look like love sausage for the whole (laughs) thing. We will be. We will be for the whole two hours. Like, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go get uncircumcised just so I look like Love Sausage. Right. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm. I'm very. I, I couldn't be more ecstatic for this movie coming out. Um, I there's tons of Marvel content that's on its way. It's almost felt like we've had like a really huge lull since the Marvels. And yeah, it's felt like, yeah, I mean, and we, and we know that we know that because, you know, Bob Iger and, and Kevin Feige and all of them said, 
uh, you're right like they basically were like you're right like we are going like quantity over quality and uh we need to take it back a little bit and write more 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 stories that make sense and better better stronger stories and you know we have this lack of where there hasn't been that much you know going forward so like we've got you know coming up we've got agatha all along and then granted it's a sony property but then shortly after that you're gonna get venom three or craven after that right so uh, yeah i mean i'm i'm and there's still so much to do with marvel right there's still so much so they don't have to rush it right i mean like we still want to see a new ghost rider i want more of werewolf by night style content as well yeah the uh the like midnight suns i would love some midnight suns like they they have the x-men haven't even started we know that that's coming fantastic for an x-men like we've got some huge projects and yet deadpool 3 might be the best of all (laughs) yeah Um, it's it's gonna be so good i it's one of those movies i feel like has the chance i've only done this with like one or two other movies in my life it has a chance to go i might go see it more than once in theaters oh i i I will be because i'm gonna have to go see it with taylor as well right and like yeah i i I don't think uh sarah ray will be that interested but deadpool is like the one set like she really liked black panther and she really liked deadpool and she enjoyed guardians of the galaxy She's right. not big into superheroes, but those three have kind of been like the ones where she liked them. Sure. So I think I'm, maybe I can convince. Big fan of uh, Blake Lively too. So if it does end up being Blake Lively, I think you could. Oh, for sure. A little bit, a little bit of convincing there. And she, so. Yeah, or she'll just sit and listen to me jabber for like four hours, telling her. About <laughs> right. You know how many times I caught myself. <laughs> I've caught myself like just mansplaining an entire show or movie. And then I was like, right. I think you should watch it. And she'd be like, Oh, okay. like maybe when it's like, yeah. I just think, and then I think 20 minutes later, I've told her everything. Why would she have to watch it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of, you know, jabbering on talking too much. That's we, we've hit that point. We're excited to see it. The trailer looked awesome. And um, I want you let us know before the movie comes out. Are you going to go see it? Are you going to go see it multiple times? Did you pre-order tickets? Um, do you think this is going to be the best Marvel product yet? And um, what are your expectations? Let us know. Follow, like, subscribe, all those things. Let us know in the comments. Let us know on Twitter, wherever you want to reach out. And um, yeah, just... You know, you make sure you all know you look great today. Well, just have a good day. Make it have a great day. Great day, bum buddies. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. GG. GG. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you. Have no regrets, yeah, I'm tired of my chest. I'll